What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel, dude. We have another special video, dude. I just keep dropping special video on special video and eventually, dude, my special videos aren't even gonna be that special anymore because all of them are special. So I've been doing all these double eye swipes. Is it still worth it in? Whatever, you guys already know, but I've been doing most of them on phones and like mobile devices, even tablets here and there. Very rarely do I do one about a gaming console and I figured I would up the ante a little bit and do one of the Nintendo Wii. I usually do one every year. I did one 2017, 2018, now we're in 2019. So let's go ahead and look at this thing. Now, it's kind of hard for me to call this a double eye swy. You know, I feel like this thing is kind of a classic and there's really like no comparison here. Like it's not like it's getting software updates. I mean, this thing is a classic. It's kind of like the same thing with like a Game Boy Advance, or like a Game Boy Micro or even like a PSP 1000. Like those things are classics and I would recommend anybody who has a chance in financial, I guess, financial literacy to buy one, go ahead and pick one up. But this thing is kind of in the middle because it wasn't released like decades and decades ago, but it was released like kind of of a long time ago so so i will kind of say if it's still worth it i guess in a weird way but but i think this is more so getting into that like classic league so and especially considering the fact is discontinued that kind of leaves us to where we're at now so this thing the nintendo wii was released in 2006 and surprisingly i owned one before i even started youtube all that stuff and i owned the black one there were a couple of variants of this so i owned the black one they did release a white one that was the original one now i'm not racist or anything like that but for some reason the black one has less features than the white one and that's the weirdest thing ever. I don't know why Nintendo ever did that. And the features that I'm talking about is the backwards compatibility with GameCube games. So with a white Nintendo Wii, with the one I have, you are able to play GameCube games. You have GameCube ports on the top so you can plug in GameCube controllers. But with the black one that I have, I am not able to do that. That, that one is not backwards compatible, which is super annoying. I don't know why they took out that feature. It's super stupid. But I guess they had to, you know, make more sales for the GameCube. So they took that out. I don't know what the problem was. I don't know why they couldn't keep it in, but it is what it is. So so that's an important thing to know depending on which variant you get you will either have backwards compatibility or you won't but i will tell you a way to overcome that in like a later part of this video but for now just kind of keep that in mind all right and of course this thing brought the infamous wii remote controller which i personally think was probably the worst feeling controller ever this thing felt super super cheap but i freaking love the controller of this i i literally love every single nintendo console even sony consoles i have love for it but with this one i felt like the controller was super super cheap but i guess at the time it wasn't that big of a deal but looking at it now and looking at what we have even like the nintendo switch controllers are much better feeling than this one but i guess that's what happens as you know time progresses parts get better and better and i just remember you guys remember when like people were like breaking their tvs because they kept throwing the wii remote on their tvs you guys remember that i totally forgot about that and i think that's why you know gaming manufacturers kind of stepped away from that but it's kind of funny i just remember that there were crazy other features of this thing that i freaking have so much love for and i definitely think that this thing is super super legit i have so much love for it and, but i do think that one of the main problems of this thing was that it did like like hdmi or like full hd output or even like regular hd output i think it's like a vga cable they call it i don't really remember anymore but this thing actually did not support hdmi which kind of sucks and for my specific models i did have to buy like an adapter to make it from like a vga to hdmi i don't remember what they call it so that's kind of another expense for this thing i think the playstation 3 had hdmi even the xbox 360 had hdmi this thing did not have it so that was kind of annoying but i guess their main competitor or their main like demographic of what they're trying to get at was like children i think they weren't going for like the heavier intensive games the gamers or anything like the call of duty people who want to know this you could get call of duty and games like that on this model but i think they were mostly trying to get at like the smaller generation you know the people who play game boy advance games or things like that not the smaller in size but like younger generation of people and I can't blame them. You know, they still tackle that even to this day with the Nintendo Switch. But of course, older generations get this game and stuff too. So it's not that big of a deal. Now, another one of the dopest things about this gaming console was just the vast library of games that this thing was, you know, eventually getting. So, so you had all those Marios, the Super Mario Galaxy, which is super crazy. The new Super Mario Bros for the Nintendo Wii, which I literally love. I play this game all the time. Unfortunately, I have a funny story. I couldn't find the disc for my new Super Mario Bros. So I, I was like, screw it. So I went to GameStop and I had to buy a game there. I found like the cheapest mario game i could find i think it was like ten dollars so i bought that literally i spent like half an hour round trip everything buying the game now to go to the super mall and then i came back and i'm like wait how am i even gonna play this on the hdmi because i don't have a vga cable or the nintendo wii vga cable so i tried to find that little vga to hdmi thing that i was talking about earlier and i could not find it so i would literally waste like an hour of my time trying to find the thing and spend 10 bucks on the game so i literally had to just boot up an emulator so sorry if the gameplay is kind of choppy <laughs> it's the best i got i couldn't play my new super mario bros game either so but again if you can 
get over that. The game library of this thing is super intense. Like you can literally play any game you want to on this thing. And the fact that some variants work backwards compatible just makes this thing so much better. And on top of that, as I mentioned earlier, if you are willing and able, you can actually hack this thing and be able to play like PlayStation ROMs and like GameCube ROMs too. And I think Game Boy Advance, NES, all those games too, you can play those from the Nintendo Wii. I think you have to get custom firmware or whatever that's called. You have to download the homebrew channel. And I was able to do that on this one a long, long time ago. I think I was like literally like years and years ago. And I finished Spyro the Dragon on this thing. I finished Crash Bandicoot on this thing. And it's crazy because it's a Nintendo Wii and it was playing PlayStation 1 games. So it's pretty crazy that this thing was able to do it. So I always talk about custom ROMing your phones and all that stuff, but I guess you can hack your Nintendo Wii to get even more functionality of it. So super cool little thing that the Nintendo Wii was able to do. I took a ton of advantage of that and I literally love this thing for that. And I think I have more memories playing like hacked games like the PS1 games and Game Boy Advance games from this thing than I actually do playing the Nintendo Wii games, which is kind of funny. And I, unfortunately, this thing was kind of discontinued in a way. I mean, they don't make like Nintendo Wii games anymore. The successor of this thing, which was the Nintendo Wii U, that thing was kind of a flop. I think the marketing was totally off, but the Nintendo Wii was a staple in my opinion. I think I love this thing like to death. The craziest thing though is that when this thing was released, it was sold for like a couple hundred dollars and I bought one at Black Friday many, many years ago for I think $200, but literally you can go out and buy this thing for like $20, $30. These things are like selling like super, super cheap because there's just so many of them, you know? Nintendo sold a ton, millions and millions, tens of hundreds of millions, not tens, of, not billions, but like they sold a ton of these consoles. So, so there's always a ton of them sold on eBay, Craigslist, whatever you want to do. And the prices of them, like I said, I, I have seen so many for like $30, $20 here and there. And they're very, very legit consoles. I cannot find anything wrong with them besides the HDMI port. But again, you can get over that in 25 seconds if you just get the HDMI to VGA connector. So I'll leave one of those linked in the description if you want to pick one of those up if you plan on buying a Wii. But I literally love this thing to death. I have so many memories of this. And I think the Nintendo Switch was a very, very good successor of the Nintendo Wii U, which was a successor of the Nintendo Wii. And funny enough, there was actually a Nintendo Wii Mini that was released too. And I actually bought one of those and I've had those for like two months now, three months, and I haven't done a video on it. But if this video, I don't know, gets like a thousand likes, that's kind of a lot, but I'll go ahead and drop a video or kind of an updated review on the Nintendo Wii Mini and seeing how that thing holds up now. I've never played with it. I've never even opened it or touched it or anything like that. So I'm kind of curious on what it's like. So that, I think that kind of sums it up, man. Like I have so much love for this thing. It was a very, very good staple into the Nintendo, I guess, life cycle. If you're one of those people who like doesn't even own a gaming console, just kind of wants to get into gaming or you're a casual gamer, I think the Nintendo Wii is still a very, very good option. I think it's still worth it. Obviously, if you can get it for like $30, I would not spend over like $60 to $70 on this thing because you can get them for way cheaper on eBay, Craigslist, like I stated. However, if you're one of those people who wants to play like super intensive, highly graphical games, I don't think this thing is what you're looking for. There's tons of options like the Xbox 360, even the PlayStation 3, even the PS3 original one. Those ones are very, very good options if you want to play heavier intensive games now like i said most of those are not being manufactured anymore there's no more games available for them in terms of like being processed and made now but there's so many games for them in the, in the library man it's crazy and like i stated i mean just because this thing is outdated or it's not being made anymore there's no more games for it being released even if you go to best buy there's probably no games in nintendo wii games you're seeing there there's so many options on ebay and amazon and you can easily get these games for like super super cheap for some reason gamestop is still selling a ton of these games for like over 30 dollars or forty dollars just such a waste they're always going to rip people off but i would totally recommend anybody out there who's looking for a gaming console get the nintendo wii it's a very very good console i mean i would probably recommend the nintendo wii over a nintendo wii u only for a price per value dollar i feel like you can still do a lot with the nintendo wii i was also planning on doing a video about nintendo wii sports or nintendo wii fit whichever one i mean if you want to see an updated review of that i guess a thousand likes i mean i'll drop a nintendo wii mini video and i'll drop a nintendo wii sports video too so that pretty much sums it up man like i said too much love for the Nintendo Wii. I've said that so many times, but I cannot iterate that enough. Let me know what you guys think, though. Do you guys think the Nintendo Wii is still a solid console? I think it is, of course. And if you have any stories in the Nintendo Wii, let me know in the comment section below. But definitely hit that like button. Like I said, a thousand likes. I don't know how many views this video is going to get, but we'll do the Nintendo Wii mini video and the Nintendo Wii Sports or the Nintendo Wii Fit, whichever one. I'll drop those in very, very soon. So definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it'll mean so much if you guys could hit that. Also, check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those things are linked down below. I would really, really appreciate if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.